All right, welcome back into the 23 Morning Blend. We got Skylar Davis with Culture Shock Records and much more. Culture Shock on Charles Street joining us. Good morning, Skylar. Good morning. All right, uh, it is records National Record Store Day on Saturday. Yes. And all kind. And what what is what does that event all mean to a musician? A group of music industry people put together this, this event third Saturday in April, usually where limited releases come out from a bunch of different bands, oh, okay. and you can only get them at independent record stores. And they do a small batch of each one usually, but you can't hold them for anyone. It's first come, first serve. Okay, so creates it, a frenzy. It, and maybe a line or two outside. Yeah, there's usually a pretty big line. You open at 11 on Saturday, right? Actually, we're doing special hours, 8 a.m. Oh, hey, wow. It's early. Get up early. Somebody's getting up early Saturday. Oh, yeah. So, okay, for National Record Store Day. And what are some of these limited releases that uh, you will have available? Well, some are brand new records or unreleased live records from bands. Some of them are reissues of classic records, like the Fleetwood Mac Rumors. They're doing a picture disc, believe it or not, up in the corner. That's okay. never been out on picture disc before. Okay. So it's a playable record, but the picture of the art is on the record itself. It's oh, not so this, black. so this is, the cover art is on the record. Correct. Now. Okay. That's never happened before. Not on that album, Not no. Not on that album. Nope. Yeah, it's happened on uh, others, yes. So like I said, there's reissues of classics, but then there's like a brand new release from Pearl Jam, and they're doing it on this like ghostly green colored vinyl, and it comes with artwork inside. That's a new release, Pearl brand Jam? Brand new release from Pearl Jam, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and that's coming out Saturday. Yep, and wow. that version's only available to independent record stores, part of Record Store Day, like Culture Shock. Okay. Um, so there's a huge amount. There is some seven-inch records. There's like this little three-inch record even set. The Beatles record player plays three-inch records. This one up here? Yep, that one up there. It's, that's it. Okay. So that's a little miniature how do you, record how do you player. you play this on a... Oh, okay. The record player's in the box. Record yeah. player in the box. And this is the... That, and this, you put, this is what yes. Beatles song... I saw her standing saw her there. standing okay. there. They're doing Hold My Hand, Hold Your Hand. They're doing a few Beatles records. Okay. All so there's some fun novelty record. things like yes. that. Okay. That's um, kind of unique. And then there are a couple CDs. It's mostly about records, though. Yeah. Down okay. front and on the bottom, there's like the Doors Live one. They're putting that out on CD and vinyl. Okay. And, and The then, fun novelty of this is the Eric Carr piece here, over here on this side. Yeah. Eric Carr in the middle here? Yep. Okay. That actually has... Well, I guess we're on the David Bowie one too. So David Bowie that's and actually Eric the David Bowie one is his original versions of the Ziggy Stardust album. Okay, and these so, are all things you're just gonna find probably just Saturday and Saturday only, right? A lot of things will sell out right away to people waiting in line. Okay. Some things we hope will still be around, of course, but the best chances are to get there early. Okay. Some yeah. of these they're only making a couple thousand copies of. Okay. I imagine that Pearl Jam thing, uh, that'll be making Pearl Jam one will be making its way out the door soon, I think. Speaking of a, 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 a few copies, uh, I, this is Saturday, but tomorrow... Yeah. <laughs> Are so, you opening early tomorrow, too, or not? We should have, probably, but no, we're, we're going to open normal uh, there, there, there's, yeah, there's 11 a, to there's 6. There's a big release out tomorrow. There is, So, yeah. and it's on its way in, but okay. I'll just show off... Uh, Herself, Taylor Swift, of Who? course. <laughs> Taylor Swift, her new album, Torture Poets Department, on white vinyl, comes out Friday. So normal releases come out on Friday. Okay. And now those you don't have to wait in line for or whatever. You should be able to just show up and buy them. <laughs> it's not like the record store day stuff. Okay. But this is, yeah, this is the 1989. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 you're not going to get a sneak copy. The new one, right they're, they're so tight on and they're getting them all ready. Those are on the way in right now. So they'll so. be here later today, but we'll have them Friday. And you'll have, you'll have it in all forms? Yeah. I mean, you'll have records. You'll have uh, mm -hmm. CDs. CDs. Too. Mostly yeah. focused on vinyl, though. Yeah, mostly vinyl, okay, at, at Culture Shock. Yeah. But, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's uh, highly anticipated, I Yes, think. very. Oh, gosh. OMG. Really. <laughs> it is fun to see that, like, even people like she's toured with and stuff like that have started blowing up. And we're getting a lot of younger people getting into vinyl because of artists like Taylor Swift. Who are emphasizing. Yeah, I even, like, even down front up there, there's a little 7-inch record uh, right down there. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. That's the Olivia Rodrigo and oh, Noah Kahn 7-inch yeah. they did together. That's a record story release. Uh, and just a fun fact, Olivia Rodrigo has been uh, showing up at Coachella as well Yo, this weekend. Well, there you yeah, go. With, with, She's making with, big news, with, too. With no, no doubt. So no, it's a great thing to see a lot of artists from the younger artists to your old classics that are actually putting out releases you can get at independent record Pearl stores. Pearl Jam going with the yeah. vinyl release. I think another interesting one we should probably mention is uh, maybe a lesser known one, but Tinted Windows. 
This Not actually familiar with tinted windows. You might know that fellow. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, the guy yeah. in there. So what's really cool about the tinted windows release yeah, is get a, get a, get a yeah. shot of the guy over here. That's Bunny Carlos yeah, from Cheap Tricks. Is. <laughs> this is a and it's on red and black vinyl. Okay. So this is a project that he did with one of the Hanson brothers and James Eha of <laughs> Smashing Pumpkins. There's, there's a quite a co quite a combination. So there. it had never been uh, on vinyl. This uh, is coming Hansen out on record store. And a, and a pumpkin and and a Bunny Carlos. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool to have a little so this local is, this is a local new release record store day yeah this actually store day they did Saturday. this about 15 years ago oh, okay. but it's never been on vinyl oh nice so this is the first time it's ever been pressed to vinyl so there's a little hype sticker you know okay um we have about 21 copies where all we were able to get of that one so okay yeah get there for that mm -hmm. one a lot of cheap trick fans will be looking for that on saturday i think for record store day but yeah, you're right. Friday releases usually come out every Friday. So having a huge release like Taylor and the Pink Floyd, well, Pink Floyd 50th yeah, anniversary right. of Dark Side, that's making this whole weekend just really crazy for us. So, I get it. I guess so it we is. Get set oh, up, man, so. that's the same iconic artwork there. Kind the of, but yeah. oh, it's a, wow. it's a picture disc with the <laughs> artwork on it. Wow. So it's cool to see that there's a lot more than just black records happening. They're doing a lot of special pressings and things like that. But we have a lot more than records. Like we've got those little oh, record yeah. holders. Those are all made here you know, okay. by a local artist. So we have our record holders. We have a lot of t-shirts. We have a lot of stereo equipment. We have a lot of locally made items in the store too. So some people just want to support a record store, even if they're not into records. Yeah, well, there's plenty of ways to do that because you have a lot of everything in yeah, there. And I jokingly say, maybe they're just not into records yet. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Maybe you start small with start this, small. There so you with go. the Beatles' <laughs> three-inch uh, record player and uh, records here. Yeah, build your way up to the uh, the big ones there. But uh, sounds like a busy couple of days here for you. It Skyler. is. Yeah. It is, and we can't show them all off, obviously. But there are over 350 releases dropping on Record Store Day, uh, and so. you'll have most. Some of all, of, or most yes, of them. Yes, yes. But a lot of them we only have like one to 30 yeah. copies of. So, yeah. So, so Saturday we're open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. for that. Tomorrow, 11 to 6 yeah, for the hours. Taylor Swift release. But then Saturday, record store day. Adjust that hour, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, for and cultureshockshop.com for more information on some of the National Record Store Day activities going on at Culture Shock on Charles Street. Thank you, Skyler. Thank you, Andy. We'll be right